everyone. Today is August 9th, 2017. I just wanted to do a quick video on grow growing ground cherries in a container. Here I have a 10 gallon grow bag. Um, these are all 10 gallon grow bags. And in this container I have ground cherries. This is a ground cherry plant. It grows the ground cherries all along its stems. There's lots of ground cherries. And as big as this plant is, it's only this is only one plant. And there's fruit all along it. See? This one plant. What I find so nice about these is you see that flower right there? Which all fruits, most all that I know of, fruits come from flowers. But they're flowers, they're so cute. They're like little, they look like little inside of bells to me or something. But that's what turns into the ground cherries that you see next to it. And this plant here, I didn't even plant it. This came from a plant from last year that dropped its fruit. And as you see, these are the fruit that drop off of the ground cherry. They drop off when they're looking... If you see these compared to the ones that are on the plants, that are green... They'll look about more golden and just more, not, not so soft like these on here. They're softer than these. These are more like papery because they have like a papery husk. So actually, normally they don't drop off unless um, there's, there's wind, um, rain, things like that. Or it's just been on there for way too long. But normally, and I wish I had some to show you today, I don't... I don't pull at these. These are not ready. But all, all you do when when uh, the ground cherry is ready and it's looking like these is basically I just like take my pinky and if it comes off then it's ready. And the thing about ground cherry is that even if you pick it and it comes off just by the touch of your finger or like a very light touch, it's ready to fall off. But that doesn't mean that it's ready to be eaten. So the reason why it's called ground cherry is because once it falls off... <laughs> It is laying there. You normally don't eat it while it's on the while it's on here. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to pick this one even though I don't want to. Um, when you pick it too soon, it's green. And I only have one hand, so one hand free, so it's green. See. So at this point, it's not ready to eat. You you'll hear some things about it's poisonous and so on, but it's not going to be the best flavor. It's not ripe yet, so I'm just going to just throw that back in there. And at this point, I'm going to pick one that is, um, that looks like it's closer to being ready. Now, these have only fallen off within the last two or three days, so, but I'm going to show you the difference. You see that? Now, this is golden. Very, it's yellow, golden. This is ready to be eaten. There's no green in it. Normally, if it's in between the green one that I just showed you and this one, you'll still see, um, green lines in them they're not ready so it may be a bit more I, I don't want to say bitter and excuse my nails I had to cut them off and break it and everything this is no professional recording over here so and excuse the plane hopefully you can hear me just fine but this is the way they look now these are this these are smaller than they would be if they were planted in the ground if they were planted in the ground you, you get larger ones sometimes sometimes you do I'm going to eat this because I don't want to waste it Sometimes you do get larger ones, like this one may be larger, and they, they've gotten a bit larger than this one even on my plant. Yeah, they've been larger than this as well. But you also sometimes have some tiny baby ones that actually start to mature. If you see, they're going into that yellow, papery looking, and they're small. So, and then you see that there's a large, larger one right there next to the flower. So they'll come in varying, si varying sizes, but I think that's more so to do with um, having them planted in a pot. And as I mentioned before, this is only one plant. One plant. Actually, no, excuse me. <laughs> I've been thinking all along. Okay. 
So this this small plant here is a, is a new one. So this is two. But this here, this all this here, up this stem, this is one plant. And it's huge. So if you were to plant them out for a family, you only need about five to seven plants for, for a family. But this one here, it gives me fruit every day. Is it enough to make up like a nutritional meal or snack or something? Um... Not really, just because it's just one in a container. But if I wanted to have these as a source of fruit, instead of buying fruit from the store, something that I know that I didn't spray a chemical on or things like that, I would definitely have at least three growing for me so I can know that I'll have fresh fruit on hand. Plus, I'll need more than a little bit. <laughs> so, But yeah, I just wanted to show you about growing ground cherries um, in containers. As I said, the main plant was grown from seeds. And as you see in the pot, you see some that have dropped off or some that I have thrown in there. Actually, I've thrown all of them in there because some were too tiny or um, maybe something was inside the husk. Sometimes you get something inside the husk and I wasn't going to eat it. So I just throw them back in there. Now what's going to happen is next year, there's going to be more ground cherries come up. And they'll come up voluntarily so you'll have your fruit. It's very easy. It's just, The funny thing is it's harder to grow these by seed than just by letting the fruit make it on its, on its own. <laughs> so there was more um, than this one plant in this container that came up, but I took them out because they were looking uh, like splotchy, like they had some kind of disease. So I actually just cut those out and I just left um, the healthiest one, as you see, on its own. I don't use any um, fish fertilizers. I don't use any store-bought fertilizers. All I did this year was... Um, if you see the it looks like a bird's nest inside of there, <laughs> I, I just put um, grass clippings in my containers this year, and they're actually just starting to break down. As you see, some of the soil is not covered anymore. But I was actually looking for um, and my hands are shaky. I don't know why. I was actually looking for um, worms because I have a compost. Uh, oh, it's not a bin. Compost pot over there that I was trying to put worms into. Because I have some worms in here from like last year's um, worms that I put into the pot. And some worm castings that I put into the pot that had eggs in them. So that's the only reason why you see that looking so broke down. But that these, um, this grass, it was up to the top of the pot. And, and I put that in about maybe April. So it's broken down so far. So that's the only thing that I've done really. Besides rainwater, like I said, I didn't buy, I didn't even give these plants, normally I'll give my plants like Epsom salt. I didn't do that this year, and everything's still green. So I've been blessed on that. But um, like I said, if anyone's interested in growing ground cherries in pots, you can. You don't have to have the land to do it. Um, they, grow, they grow pretty easy if you can actually just let them um, grow on their own. Um, if you were to grow them by seed, it takes about, hmm. It could take up to eight weeks. The seeds are so tiny and then the plant is so small. But once it gets going, it's, it's going. But it, it takes a while. So yeah, just a quick video on growing ground cherries from seeds. Excuse me, not seeds. <laughs> from plants. Alright, have a good day.